Today, we're checking out what would happen if different sized asteroids hit the Earth. I'm talking asteroid sizes ranged from 5 meters all the way up to 10 miles in radius. That's a lot. Can the Earth survive? Let's find out. All right, the first asteroid is 4 meters big. Wow, that's already bigger than that woman. That is much bigger than that woman. And this is so it's going to show us what would happen if, if a four meter, a four meter asteroid hit New York City. Oh, okay. That's not, not that ready. big. That is not that big. No, but it's coming in hot, right? Whoa. Yo, oh, it didn't even make it to New York oh, City. It, it broke up in it. the atmosphere. <laughs> wow. <laughs> L goes out. What a this L. one is 20 meters big. Dude. Okay. Wow. Wow. It's, that's the size of something big. Yes. Why are all these hitting New York City? Well, I think well, it's just a this, good comparison. What is this Clearly, that's where the aliens would attack, Al Adam. In every movie, New York City gets attacked. I would go after, like, a Utah. Why? <laughs> There's nothing Utah. going on in Utah. I know? would go after a Utah. Is this one even going to make it? Now I'm more like, none so. of these are even going to make it. Oh, no. Wait, why doesn't it make heck? it? Oh, 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 it went, oh, it broke up into oh. tiny pieces. Oh. Yo. Why look, does it do that? The, look at New York. It's because Jack knows he's smart. It's like the. So, Adam, when it comes into the atmosphere, it's getting really hot, right? The atmosphere is heating it up with the speed as it's coming in. The air gets denser and denser as it's coming in, and then it breaks up into a bunch of different pieces. But if the pieces are too big, they could come past the atmosphere, hit the earth, and have a little mini explosion. And make big boom. That's how dinosaurs died. Okay, and now we're talking. This is like skyscraper almost level. How big are these meteors gonna get? It's 50 meters big. How Big are these they're gonna, gonna get, get big. They're, I told they're gonna get miles big. We're only uh, yeah, at 50 I think it meters. might be as big as the moon. No. Oh, okay. This one's gonna off. have some serious damage. Oh. There goes Manhattan. Wow. Oh I don't know if you gosh. guys are catching that, but there's like a sound wave too, so it's breaking the yeah. sound barrier when it breaks. Whoa, this one's bigger than the Mona Lisa. Wow. Are these real meteor impacts that have happened in real life? So, no, I, you I don't dummy. know. I don't think that they've actually hit New York City. However, giant asteroids have been hitting the Earth for billions of years. We're just lucky that most of them break up in the atmosphere. Aren't there like some locations where you can go and see like meteor craters? Like there's still oh, yeah. craters. Yeah, there's tons of them. Especially Especially Africa, I'm pretty sure, has like one of the biggest craters still, and it's like a huge valley. Is it the Grand Canyon? Right now. Grand Canyon was actually made by water that goes through for millions and millions of years. There's no way you actually thought that. Also, guys, I don't know if you knew this, but you know when you look up at the moon and it kind of looks like a bunch of different little dots? Those are all from asteroids. Oh. And the asteroids, it, it doesn't have the atmosphere, so it, it can't break them up like the Earth does. So those are all different like little asteroid craters. Wow. The more you know. That's crazy. What if the moon hit the Earth? That would be a really big asteroid. I think that might be the last oh. thing that's in this video. Oh my gosh! Yo! Wow. 1.6 1 1.6 kilometer meteor. That's crater. almost a mile long, right? I think so. It's like 0.7 miles. Dang. That's crazy. Okay, and th these are only gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So the impact energy on this one is like the SAR bomb, which is one of the first ever nuclear bombs that was created. Wait, is this 51 SAR bombs or is this the SAR bomb 51? No, it's 51 of them. 51 oh nuclear bombs. Oh my gosh! Bombs. Okay, New York City's gone. I'm sorry. Oh. No, I think this is going to expand <laughs> all the way into like all of the East Coast. Is probably gonna be wiped out. Oh my gosh! It's, it's, it's not even that big. The Eiffel Tower. Dude, the Eiffel Tower's huge. I know, but it's not that big. <laughs> oh, it's- Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh! That, that cannot be accurate. It just destroyed all of New York City. <laughs> yeah. You know what's crazy is like, this could actually happen. This could actually happen. No way. Well, yeah, I mean, okay. So the chances of this happening are very, very, very small. It's how the dinosaurs died. No. It is. However, was from that, was water, a, Alec. that was at a time when our asteroid belt wasn't fully developed. Our asteroid belt now is like as safe as it's ever, as it's ever been. Like, the so asteroid it's like protecting belt, us? Yeah. So it protects, um, I believe like the inner three planets. So it protects like us, Venus, Mercury. And I also think Mars is right within that cusp, but that's why we don't get hit because we're protected by this whole asteroid belt. So any big asteroids coming in go into the belt and then they just get trapped in the belt. So that's why we haven't been hit by many asteroids. I don't understand. If a big meteor is coming down, right? Why can't we just shoot our own meteor at it and then blow it up? Yeah, like let's just call Iron Man to go deal with it. That just is what scientists have said, that they should redirect it. If there ever is a big asteroid, they're going to send out rockets to move it a little bit so that it just gets like, I like, like that. propelled by they our pay gravitational me? pull. Uh-oh, boys. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we're already at a mile wow. long. One mile long. <laughs> One That's kilometer, a kilometer, Adam. That's 0.6 miles. Oh. Oh, boys. Oh. Whoa. Yep, this one's coming right into planet That one looks big. That's Earth. pretty much the sun. That one looks big. That one looks nasty. That one is on fire. Oh, GG's, Dior. 
Okay, oh, New downtown York is getting destroyed. Manhattan. I think at first I would think that this was a firework. So oh! I'd, I'd, I'd like start cheering. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my! It just destroyed. It actually just destroyed all of New York. Oh, that's more than just New York. Fourteen kilometer crater. That whole crater is New York, dude. That probably makes like earthquakes too. Okay. Oh my. Chick okay. Chick okay. This is twenty times bigger. That's what took out the dinosaurs. So it's similar to the one that took out the eight million seven hundred thousand T Zar bomb. This is twenty times bigger than the last one. Do you guys think you would do anything if you saw it coming at you? Like if you looked in the sky and you saw it? I would try and dodge. Like, what would you do? I poop my pants. You poop your pantsies? I would too. Uh oh. Here it comes. It's entering the atmosphere. Broke the atmosphere. Oh. 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 Whoa! There's the oh, entire why, North America. That's why the dinosaurs got deleted because of that. Yo, it made a volcano. So it's not even like, so that happens, right? Even if you survive this, there's going to be an immediate ice age that happens from all of the, the carbon dioxide that gets emitted. Immediate ice age. Why would there oh. be ice? No, that's not accurate. Because look, if you look, there's so much fire. Yeah, it, 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 was it, it clouds the atmosphere, boys. And then it blocks out the sun. And then the sun can no longer get to the earth anymore. So it just turns oh, ice cold. I actually did hear about that. I heard like the dinosaurs didn't actually die to the meteor. But because there was so much like dust and everything, no more trees or vegetation could grow and so they couldn't eat anymore they all starved to death and died these small things could survive That's because what I was saying. they didn't need a lot to eat they could mm -hmm. they could you know burrow underground and stuff they didn't need to worry about it i completely right. agree and that's what i was saying from the jump exactly wait that only destroyed one country i mean it's a lot but there's still seven billion people Four billion years ago, this thing hit Earth. So also, I, I know, I, so I just came from like a planetarium a couple months back, but um, they actually said, so the moon, right? The moon used to be a part of Earth. I heard that before. Uh, I don't an know asteroid if I hit, that. hit, what are you talking about? Why, why don't you believe, believe it? Why don't you believe it? Because it just sounds silly. It sounds it, like they it wanted hit, it to be true, but yeah. it's it got like hit by an asteroid really and then it got a flat dinked Earth off and then it started going around. I don't know if I believe it. Guys, that. you know Horton Hears a Who? You know, like some universes <laughs> can be really small, you know that theory? Oh, For some reason, I'm thinking like, what if like a horn here is a universe is stuck in my toilet and I'm like this thousand tar bomb with my turds dropping in the toilet. That would be crazy if you think you about it. You probably are. Yeah. I'm destroying planets with my turds. Yeah, that's good. So this one's wiping out planet Earth, right? I don't think so. I think it's going to destroy half of the planet. And I think well, the whole planet luckily, is going to be gone. Look at how small it is, though, compared to the Earth. This one is landing in Italy, so no more pizza. Wait, guys, what if it landed in water instead of a planet? Would that uh, change tsunami? anything? Tsunami? I feel like that would change a lot. Um, I think tsunami. it would. Oh my gosh! Yo, look at all like the the fire coming off at the top. Are those all gonna land? Are those all like little meteors? Yup. That's like it's a bunch like of a, little meteors. Like a shrapnel grenade. Okay, this one definitely destroy all of Earth. No one is gonna live. No one's living after this. You only need like a tiny little meatball in Whoa. order to destroy Earth. Whoa! That was the moon. We almost got hit, guys. We almost just got hit. Yo. I like your cut, G. That's pretty sick, though. I'm not going to lie. Even though that's my Earth, I still feel like that's pretty cool. I'm so happy. Like, if that happened, I would be like, wow, that's a pretty cool way to go out. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if you'll have time to think that. Oh, that looks like the moon. Oh, no. That is a moon. That's a moon. That's a Jupiter moon, I think. Series. Oh, oh, wait, what's oh, their what issue with Turkey? Sing to now? You think they have a problem against Turkey? I mean, it's either Turkey or chicken that has to go. That's the size of the moon. Well, it's, that it's is a, insane. Yeah, it is a moon. It looks like it's moving slow, though. Maybe it'll just like land nicely, nice and peacefully, you know? Then we can add to our Earth. Earth. Exactly. We can so colonize it. Little top hat. It's saying Ceres is about 27% the size of our moon. Oh, that's like kind of tiny. Yeah, it's only, it's like only a, quarter. a quarter. Yeah, this is tiny. Nice one. Look how slow it's going though. Maybe it'll just like be nice uh -huh. and land kindly. I think it's going s slow relative to its size. Oh. Okay, it did not land kindly. I can confirm. Yep. It did, oh. it and there did goes not Africa. land very kindly. There goes Africa. The media's racist. They're coming for North America now. Oh. That okay. is insane. Okay, it's not racist. Sorry. That is just, this is only a quarter size of the moon. It Wait, just, what would happen? It just destroyed everybody. It turned the Earth into the sun. Oh, my. It actually does look like the sun. That's crazy. Wait, do you think that's how the sun was created? No. That's insane. I th I think I just oh, wow. solved something. Oh, there's a survival so manual, boys. We can learn how to survive. Who is surviving? What are you talking about? <laughs> All you gotta do is just jump in the pool, and we're good. Just jump that's in the pool. If you time true. it that's, correctly, yeah. you can jump over the blast, and you're good. True. That's true. a good point. <laughs> the question is not if, but when. You guys will leave a like on today's video, and while you're at it, click this video to see more. I'm scared. <laughs> right here, or else that was, that was scared. Adam will explode in ant colony. I'm gonna do that regardless. Eat this poop. <laughs> he already did it.